Hi, I'm Mark Alderman and welcome to this week's core concept. The idea behind a weekly core concept is simply this. A friend of mine once told me if everything's important, then nothing's important. So we've identified 10 key concepts to help us on our mission to continue to be and continue to improve as Vermont's favorite car dealership. So what we do is every week we select one of these key concepts and then 10 weeks later, we'll come back to that key concept. So this week's core concept is, is it by default or by design? And guess what? Out of the 10 core concepts, this is actually the most important because this affects all the other core concepts, affects your vision. Again, anything, your culture, your vision, your processes, your priorities, if they're not by design, then they are automatically by default. So what are some of the things that could be affected by something being either by default or by design? They could be th uh, simple things such as, how do we say hello to a customer? How do we say goodbye to a customer? How do we return a customer's car to them? What does it look like? Where do we park cars? How do we diagnose cars? Where do we put keys? Um, what do we do when there's a problem? How do we take care of our uh, facility? Those are just a handful of ideas, areas that we look at. Is it by default or by design? So what are the two things that would make something go from by design to by default? The first thing is what they call process evaporation. Process evaporation is where we've implemented a process and then either pieces or the entire process simply go away. For example, when we sell cars, we're very proud of our fixed operations, our service, our parts, and our body shop. And we like to make that part of our sales pre presentation. We call it a shop walk. But every once in a while, we'll take a look and we'll say, geez, on the last 10 customers, we only gave two shop walks. What happened? Process evaporation. We were still able to sell some cars, but maybe not as many cars by skipping that step. You get busy, you have a lot of customers, and it happens. So we have to guard against process evaporation. Then the other enemy is evolution. This is where a process has evolved, where somebody's changed it. So for example, let's say that we have a design of how to properly greet a customer in the service drive, right? With a, with a friendly welcome and a handshake, uh, the moment that they drive into the service department, maybe we walk around their car, but all of a sudden, uh, somebody's out sick for a couple of days, uh, we have more appointments than we expected, we get very busy, and we start handling the customer differently. And then all of a sudden, that different way of handling the customer becomes the process. There's an example of a process by default instead of by design. So is it by default or by design? We wanna focus on that this week and be considering everything that we're doing and making sure it's by our design. The other time to come, over, come around and ask yourself, is it by default or by design, is any time something goes wrong. When we have an undesired outcome happen, we always wanna be asking, is this because the process has become by default versus by design? So that's this week's core, core concept. Thank you very much for watching.